we want to find the derivative of the given function and then find the equation of the tangent line at x equals zero. Looking at the given function, notice how we have a product of two functions and each function is also a composite function. So this should be kind of fun to find the derivative. We have to apply both the product rule and the chain rule to find our derivative function. Just in case we need it, here's the product rule of differentiation. The derivative of a product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So let's start by setting up the product rule. If our given function is f of x equals two times e raised to the power of negative two x times cosine three x, applying our product rule, let's let the first exponential function be equal to f and the second trig function be equal to g, which means f prime of x is gonna be equal to the first function two times e to the negative two x power times the derivative of the second function, cosine three x. We'll come back and find this derivative, plus the second function, or cosine three x, times the derivative of the first function, which is two times e raised to the power of negative two x. So again, notice how we didn't find any derivatives for the first step, we just set up the product rule. So now we'll find this derivative here, this derivative here, find the products, and then see if we can simplify. So we have f prime of x equals two e to the power of negative two x. And now to find the derivative of cosine three x, since this is a composite function, we'll find the derivative of the outer function and then multiply by the derivative of the inner function which means the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u times u prime. So the derivative of cosine three x is gonna be equal to negative sine three x times the derivative of three x, which would be three, plus cosine three x times the derivative of two e to the power of negative two x Again, we have a composite function here where the inner function is negative two x. So the derivative of e to the u with respect to x would be e to the u times u prime, or in this case, two e to the power of negative two x times the derivative of negative two x, which would be negative two. Now let's go ahead and find these products. Here we would have negative six e to the power of negative two x sine three x. And here we would have negative four e to the power of negative two x cosine three x. So minus four e to the power of negative two x cosine three x. This is our derivative function, but notice how we do have a common factor of two e to the power of negative two x. But because both of these terms are negative, let's go ahead and factor out negative two e to the power of negative two x. That would leave us with three sine three x plus two cosine three x. So this would be our derivative function, which will allow us to find the slope of the tangent line when x equals zero. So let's work on finding the equation of the tangent line on the next slide. In order to find the equation of our tangent line, we need two things. First, we need the slope of the tangent line, which we can find from the derivative when x equals zero, but we also need to find the point on the function when x equals zero. So we can find the slope of the tangent line by evaluating the derivative at x equals zero, and we can find the y-coordinate of the point on the function by evaluating the original function at x equals zero. Once we find the slope and the point, we can then find the equation of the tangent line. So let's first find the slope of the tangent line, so we'll substitute zero into the derivative function. So if x is zero, we would have negative two 
times e to the zero, which is one. And then we'd have three times the sine of zero, sine of zero is zero, plus two times cosine zero, cosine zero is one. So f prime of zero is equal to negative two times two, or negative four, which is the slope of the tangent line when x equals zero. And now we'll find the y-coordinate of the point of tangency by evaluating the original function at x equals zero. So we'd have positive two times e to the zero, which is one, times cosine zero, which is also one. So the y-coordinate of the point of tangency is two. And notice that this point has an x-coordinate of zero, and therefore two is actually the y-intercept of the line. So if we want to find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, or the form y equals mx plus b, we now know the slope, or m, is equal to negative four, and the y-intercept, or b, is equal to positive two. So the equation of our tangent line would be y equals negative four x plus two. Now let's go ahead and verify our results graphically. The red graph is the graph of the original function. We determined the point zero two is the point of tangency, or this point here. This blue line does have the equation y equals negative four x plus two. It has a y-intercept of positive two, a slope of negative four, and notice how the line is tangent to the red graph at the point zero two. Therefore, this graph does verify that our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.